I work on this age-related corneal disorder called Fuchs dystrophy. It's uh, the leading indication for corneal transplantation in the United States. It's a disease of middle age where the inner layer of the cornea degenerates and patients develop swelling of their cornea and decreased vision, especially in the morning, in the early stages of disease. As it progresses, uh, it results in corneal scarring and more significant loss of vision. Now, I was recruited to UT Southwestern about 15 years ago to implement newer types of corneal transplant procedures for this uh, disorder. And uh, uh, as a consequence, my practice grew to include many patients and families with this age-related corneal disorder. And uh, uh, the first few years, I was very much uh, gratified by seeing these patients and offering them surgery. But then uh, I realized that if I could study uh, the genetic basis of uh, disease, uh, I might be able to help uh, more patients and families in the long run. So I made this switch from being primarily a clinician and surgeon to wanting to do more uh, translational research. I think there is a, a, a genuine unmet medical need to, to try to stop the disease process with a less invasive uh, treatment in the form of a topical or local uh, uh, therapy to the eye so that patients don't need corneal transplantation. With the Harrington uh, grant comes this uh, amazing support in terms of the technical team and the business team that they uh, provide to help uh, people like me uh, trying to, to further push their technology uh, uh, forward. They have a lot of vast experience in terms of uh, developing technologies, and I think for someone in my position that's completely new to the field, uh, it will certainly accelerate the process, and, and uh, I'm keen to learn from them and others uh, how best to move forward.